We've been telling you about those displaced by the storm who've been looking for a place to stay. As our Bronx reporter Aaron Clark tells us, staff at a health care facility took it as their duty to provide shelter. When Sandy hit, water swelled into the Coney Island health care facility where Lemuel Cox lived for about two years. I saw when, it, when, it, when the lights went out, right? The lights went off. We didn't have no light. He was safe from the surge on the fifth floor of the Seacrest Health Care Facility on West 24th Street in Brooklyn, but because he suffers from kidney failure, he wasn't out of harm's way. I can't do dialysis without electricity. Cox and others from Seacrest were packed onto buses in search of a place of refuge. They sat on the buses for hours and were turned away from other facilities that simply didn't have the room to take in evacuees. Ninety-nine of those residents ended up here at Workman's Circle, a multi-care facility in the Bronx. Now, there wasn't much space for them, but the staff here worked overtime to make sure those residents' needs were attended to and they were as comfortable as could be. As the night progressed, we got more and more people. We got the number went up from 70 to 99. So then we spent time on Wednesday evening trying to find mattresses, trying to find whatever we could to have people sleep on. It was hectic, to say the least, having to take in nearly 100 patients when the nonprofit didn't even have beds for their original 40 evacuees expected. Still, the staff took it in stride. You're given opportunities to um, take care of people and you really don't want to turn your back on people. Cox is one of the three Seacrest evacuees that Workman Circle staff continues to care for. The rest have been found a permanent place to stay, but Cox says he doesn't mind being left behind. This place is a nice place, and I never believed I had a place like this. He's getting access to the care he needs and has already made a few friends. So for now, Workman Circle is home. In the Bronx, Aaron Clark, New York One.